The LEAD Pharma Training Program, which falls under the BioReach project that is funded by agencies like the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, aims to build capacity in climate-smart agriculture with 30 LEAD farmers, extension officers and communication specialists set to benefit from hands-on training. FAO representative ad interim for Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Gillian Smith, said the objective of the program is to ensure that farmers are sustaining the environment while producing for agriculture. We're very excited about the fact that we are now at the stage of the program where we are having our lead farmer training implemented. And what this does is to take a farmer field school approach, taking the farmers and the extension officers together to work on ways to improve agricultural production and productivity. One of the farmers participating in the program, Shazad Hussein, shared that he's looking forward to learning new sustainable techniques as he's never been a part of such a program. Especially not hands-on. Hands-on experience will make it a little better as you're doing it and seeing everything in real time. Information is key to everything in life. The more information you have, the more you can utilize it towards any other aspect of life. Namdev Co CEO Narmala Devi Singh said the program is a grassroots approach to train experienced farmers to become lead farmers to guide their communities in adopting sustainable, resilient practices. This is how we build long term change farmer to farmer, community to community. To all participants in this program, I would like to commend you. You are the future of agriculture in this country. She said the program will focus on key areas such as proper agronomic techniques, integrated pest management and sustainable soil as well as how these practices can be integrated into sustainable agricultural systems without causing harm to our ecosystems. This program will benefit Trinidad and Tobago the agriculture sector of Trinidad and Tobago, the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, and all farmers, because here we have 30 lead farmers who are versed, who are trained, who are certified in agrotechnology, and who will now have the opportunity to use their farms as field schools to train additional farmers. Here's where we have the opportunity for community engagement of farmers to continue the training paradigm. The training will also be combined with classroom sessions with extensive hands-on learning as a dedicated learning field. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.